Part 5 – Cybersecurity Technologies and Best Practices Cybersecurity is a critical concern for organizations of all sizes, and there are a variety of technologies and best practices that can help mitigate cyber risks. Here are some key technologies and best practices in cybersecurity. Technologies, a firewall. A firewall is a network security device or software that monitors and filters incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predefined security rules. Intrusion Detection System, IDs, and Intrusion Prevention System, IPS and IDs monitors network traffic for suspicious activity and alerts security personnel when it detects potential intrusions. An IPS goes a step further by automatically blocking suspicious activity. Virtual Private Network, VPN A VPN allows users to securely access a private network over the internet. It encrypts data in transit and ensures confidentiality and integrity. Encryption, encryption is the process of converting plain text into code, making it unreadable without the right key. It can be used to protect data at rest, stored data, and data in transit, data moving over a network. Two-factor authentication, 2FA2FA adds an extra layer of security to the login process by requiring users to provide two forms of authentication, e.g., a password and a code sent to their phone, best practices, employee education and training. One of the best practices for cybersecurity is to educate employees on how to identify and avoid cyber threats. Regular training sessions and awareness programs can help employees stay vigilant against phishing attacks, malware, and other cyber threats. Regular security updates, keeping software, operating systems, and other technology up to date with the latest security patches is crucial for minimizing vulnerabilities that can be exploited by cyber criminals. Access control organizations should implement access controls that limit employee access to sensitive data and systems. This includes user authentication, role-based access control, and least privilege access data backup and disaster recovery. Regular data backups and disaster recovery planning can help organizations quickly recover from cyber attacks and minimize the impact of data breaches. Incident response plan. A well-defined incident response plan is crucial for quickly identifying and responding to cyber threats. It should include steps for containing the threat, assessing the damage, and restoring normal operations, end-user education. Here are some best practices for educating end-users on cybersecurity. Hold regular cybersecurity training sessions to teach employees policies, threats, safe practices, and how to report risks. Make training mandatory. Send simulated phishing and ransomware emails to test readiness. Use results to further educate on threats. Ensure training covers secure password management, email safety, social engineering risks, Wi-Fi use, safe web browsing, mobile security, etc. Tailor training to different user roles like executives who face greater risk. Consider job-specific real-world examples utilize engaging training methods like videos, visual aids, quizzes, and hands-on demos instead of just presentations. Test comprehension after training by having users a firm understanding of policies and enumerate threats. Send helpful cybersecurity tips regularly through email, blogs, posters, and internal communications. Foster a collaborative culture where users are encouraged to discuss concerns, ask questions, and propose improvements incentivize. Secure behavior through gamification, rewards programs, and recognition of security-minded employees enforce accountability by enacting consequences for violations of policies and repeat offenders. Update training content frequently to cover new methods used by attackers and evolving threats. Combined with technology controls, comprehensive end-user education is key to building a strong human firewall and cyber resilience. It's an ongoing process requiring continuous engagement.